What's up, YouTubers? Hope you guys are all doing absolutely amazing. Uh, first, before we get into anything, thank you guys so much for the response to my tuning video. As I mentioned in that video, it's been you know well over a decade on YouTube and I've never done a tuning video and it's because I feel like I tune a little bit different than how everyone tells you, this is the only way to tune your drums. And every time I've learned how to tune from someone else, I would always think, yeah, that's just not how I do it. And so I was, I would say, honestly, kind of nervous about putting that out because I knew that everybody would be like, oh my God, that's not how you do it, bro. And it's like, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. That's how I do it. And I just wanted to share that with you. And for that to actually not happen, and no one said that, and everybody was just like, thanks so much. I've never thought about tuning for feel instead of tone on the top head, all the stuff. Thank you. It meant a lot to me. All right. So real quick, I'm getting ready to head off to Alabama for my first clinic since the beginning of the pandemic. I'm super excited. I haven't been able to make a vlog for a long time. You guys know that I was doing the vlogs on a search for vintage snare drums, but I couldn't go anywhere else. Like I, I wasn't flying anywhere anymore. I wasn't going to these shops that I would normally go to. And I'd kind of exhausted the possibilities of the shops around me that I could drive to. So I figured, well, let's vlog a clinic. I've never really taken you guys on the adventure with me. And I don't know what to expect. I don't know if there will be a mask mandate when I get there or how this whole thing's gonna be. If there's gonna be social distancing, can I hug the attendees? Can I not hug them? I don't know, but I'm gonna take you guys with me. First, I wanted to walk you through what goes in my backpack. I am not sponsored by this company. I don't even know who makes it. Wandered without an ED, W-A-N-D-R-D. -D. I've had this backpack for quite a while, but I fit a lot of stuff in it. So I'm taking my camera, I'm taking all of my matcha stuff. I'm taking my 64 audio in-ears. I'm taking my Dell XPS 15, shout out to the PC community. I don't care what you say, I've been rocking a PC since day one and I'm not switching. I'm a huge fan of Apple products, but I love my Dell XPS 15, not sponsored. Uh, bring in a bunch of these, hours equals powers bracelets for the attendees. I've got the key of destiny. I've got some sticks that we're not supposed to be talking about, but you're gonna find out eventually anyways. Then I've got my think tank bag of goodies, my reflex pad, and my tune box. So now I'm gonna pack up and head off to Alabama and I'm not gonna do that thing that vloggers do where like I have to show like my suitcase rolling. It's like, you understand what's gonna happen. I'm here now in Folsom. I'm gonna get on a plane and I will just see you guys in Alabama. See, wasn't that easier than having to ride on the plane with me and see the footage of the rolling suitcase? You don't need to see that. I'm in Alabama, Huntsville to be exact. Mr. Marcus Pope is here. <laughs> Will, what were you doing back there? <laughs> Are you being silly? Don't not be silly. Not a whole lot, not a whole lot. Hello, good people. Yes. Good to see you. Yes. Mr. Marcus Pope. How we doing? How we doing? What are we doing right now? We're driving. Where? Oh we're my driving. God. We're driving and we headed to <laughs> Randolph. Thurble. Is it the Thurble? Where, where are we going, Mike? <laughs> you know I'm better your than guest. I you know. <laughs> All right, so we are going to the Thurble Arts Center in Randall, Alabama. Sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, okay, it will. It will straight uh, will. So anyways, we're headed off now to the place that we're going to be doing the clinic and the concert at tomorrow. So we're going to go there, set up the kit. So they've got all the drums and everything there. All we have to do is go and fine tune everything. So we're going to do that now. And I'll probably get to meet some of the other artists as well, which I'm really excited about. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Woohoo! Okay, what do we got? What do we got? All right, on the rundown, here we got we'll start here. here. Okay, this is catfish. Catfish. Cat. I'll, I'll tell you that. This fried shrimp, mm -hmm. onion filled hush puppies, whiting, and American cat. Okay, now. What's the difference in taste between American catfish and Korean catfish? So most, most people are familiar with the American cat, but this, as you see, is a little easier to fry, more taste, not more tasty, but it sticks together a little more. It's all about the frying thing, you know. Okay. I love it. Well, thank you, sir. All right. Pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Thank you, sir. Atta boy, 120 frames per second of pure manimal.
And um, and the guys are here. Yep, I see everybody's here. Yeah, that's, that's the man. Yeah, Kelvin's here. How are you, sir? I'm Mike. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Hey! Hey! How are you doing, sir? Who is his last name? Brother. How are you, man? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. You good? So, I guess we'll just be back at the hotel tomorrow at 2 a.m. Great. But my Great. bass drum position is just killing me. Bruh, oh, it's man. so good. It's so good. <laughs> And that's basically where the vlog ends. Uh, there were no tech issues. I didn't lose my memory card on the flight home. The battery didn't run out, nothing like that. But from that point on, the moments started to become the moments, the moments that I want to remember for the rest of my life. And I hadn't done a clinic in almost two years. I hadn't played a live show with a band in almost two years. And so once we got to around the end of sound check, all of a sudden it was like, do I want to be a junior cinematographer? Or do I want to just remember this for the rest of my life? And honestly, from that moment on, I just never picked up my camera again. And I, and I, I did pick up my phone, you know what I mean? Like I captured moments for myself that I wanted to remember forever. And I wanted to one day be scrolling through, looking for a picture for a friend and then go, oh my God, that's, that's my time in Alabama. And just rewatch that and relive that memory. And I know that a lot of people there had their phones out. Yeah, it was just one of those things where the vlog ended mid-vlog because all of a sudden I didn't want to miss out on it. You know, there was like a real connection with the crowd during the clinic. And imagine how I would have severed that connection if I would have been teaching and then said, oh, just one second, guys, let me grab my camera so I can get some clips of this for my vlog. Or during the concert, there was this moment where Kelvin, the guy that was on the Hammond B3, he plays keys and he plays bass. He was playing bass, his daughter was singing, and it was just this really beautiful moment, father, daughter, and he slowly walks over to her, and he's dancing with her, and then eventually he picks her up in his arms and takes her off stage, and it's like, I'm just glad, I'm honestly glad I wasn't filming for that. I know someone in the crowd was, but I'm glad that I was present, and I think we all need to think about how important it is to be present for moments, especially as YouTubers, as content creators, people on Instagram, of course, I want the content. I want the views. I want the likes. Of course, I'm not going to pretend I don't. But is it worth missing out on beautiful moments for? I don't. Not for me. Uh, so I'm sorry that I don't have footage of the clinic. Uh, but I also want to show you probably my favorite thing that happened that I wasn't planning on. After the clinic, uh, the next morning we went over to Kelvin's house for breakfast or for brunch, excuse me, and we had a, an amazing brunch uh, made by his family. But then we went downstairs into his studio and he had two kits. Now, Will Kennedy has been my teacher for probably about five years now off and on whenever we can make time for it. 
but I've never jammed with him. I've done clinics with him, and I've been on a stage with him like I was for the concert where I'm three drum sets away from him, but I've never just sat in a room and jammed with my mentor and my teacher. And for Kelvin to be able to offer that to us by having two kits in a room and just jam and shed with my teacher and trade ideas back and forth, it's probably up there in like my top five drum moments of my entire life. Um, and so, yeah, here's a clip of that. cool is that? I got to jam with my idol. It was it was amazing. Anyways, uh, you know, on the flight home, I was thinking like, well, wasted footage. I'm not going to make a vlog out of that because I didn't make the vlog. But I realized a little bit later, like, not making the vlog is something worth making a video about. It's worth reminding myself, all of us, that sometimes you have to be present for life. And you got to put the phone down. You got to put the camera down. And I'm actually really happy now that the event's over. Of course, I would love to have great footage and B-roll of the whole event to show you, but I'm kind of happy now that the thing is over that I have great crystal clear memories. Because I've definitely made some videos of clinic tours I've been on that the video is showing me things where I'm like, I don't even remember that because I was stuck behind the camera. So of course, I'm always gonna keep making content, but for the first clinic back in two years, I'm really happy that I chose the experience over the footage. <laughs>